Today, the strongest psychics who have won the previous seasons of the show will help unravel a tangle of tightly tied circumstances that led to the death of an innocent student. Elijah Dushnov, lovingly called a Ouija among family, was a quiet child, close-knit family, loving parents, and a sister of whom Elijah was especially protective. If someone was picking on Eliza, Elijah would run up and save her. Elijah was the family's pride and joy, keeping in touch with his parents even after their divorce and separation from his sister. After finishing high school with a diploma with honors, he got accepted into a prestigious university in Moscow. It seemed like a bright future awaited the young man in a city of endless possibilities. Everything changed in an instant. All right, guys, gather up. We're all ready. Dude, look. What? What is it? Look there! Look! Jesus <laughs> Christ! I got it! I got it on camera! On the 16th of June, 2020, during his own prom night, the young man fell out of the window of dormitory number 12. Deliberate action or horrible accident? Or maybe someone else was involved? Students have already made up legends about the mysterious dorm room Elijah used to occupy. It is considered cursed. Every window in the dormitory shattered. Light from a ball of lightning. Right now, the best psychics of our country will shine some light on the mystery of dormitory number 12. And the family will finally find the answer to the burning question. The reason behind the sudden death of the young man. And who is responsible? And also, don't forget to go to the bookstore and pick up a notebook and... What's the matter? Are you expecting someone? Huh? There are... <laughs> Dimitri, the clues! No, not that! Did they not teach you anything? Turn it over! Turn it... In this very room, the student was living out his last days. And where he did to play... His... Well, what now? Short circuited or something. Let me check. Yeah, definitely short circuited. <sighs> Five minutes to set back up and we'll roll again. The psychics are arriving, Schnell! <clears throat> uh, so what's going on here? It's me who should be asking. Who would you be then? We were told the room is empty. Well, I live here. Don't listen to him. No one lives here. Dimitri, officially you live in number 203. I did you a favor by moving you. But, but... Jeez, what's going on? Yes? Is everyone here? We'll tell him that celebrities are coming. See how fast he lets you in. Who doesn't watch Psychic Battle these days? They'll let you in, don't worry. I'll show that Petrovitz who's who if he won't. Complicated place. So many auras, interweaving fates, and those dumb cockroaches. Great spot. Cockroaches were considered sacred by the ancient Cyclo. I will make contact with the souls of the fallen insects. They are always favorable to me. I'll help the best I can. I got my gift from my grandmother. And she got it from her grandmother. And she, she was self-taught. Will the best psychics of the country be able to help this grieving family find answers? <laughs> find out after the break. But I'm part of the cast. I'm sorry, dear. The name doesn't match. I can't. Oh, no way. So, do you think it'll work? Trying won't hurt. But they're, like, not real psychics. And we're not real detectives. We need to move the investigation forward somehow. Everyone but crew out. 
keep him. He's eye candy. Ready in two minutes! You heard that? I'm eye candy. Don't you have a girlfriend? Since when do you care so much? You're talking to him, aren't you? Uh... I know that he's here. I'm recording everything. Long time no see! <laughs> have you met? Something like that. Ready in one minute. Take your places. Well, let's roll. The first person to volunteer to read the energy of the area is the Dark the Witch Dredgeny. I feel... Smells like rotting flesh. Someone died here. What? Unbelievable. The witch from downtown unmistakably identified the reason behind all of us being here today. Okay, I understand. And what do you think about this? Oh, shit. He's squished. No matter, I have more, I have more. I can hear him. He is speaking to me. Okay, then. He misses home. This wasn't his actual home. The mediums were describing Elijah's life with surgical no, accuracy. Home, it's like a door. What else will they tell us? I swear, if she says anything about glasses... He had problems with his vision. He hasn't seen much. He was looking, but not seeing. <laughs> he had a relationship. Strong. Nobody knew. Lady, <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, complicated stop connection. Her. Blind leading the death. Dimitri, stop her! Please! Please. You, excuse me, person. could you tell me my fortune? You seem like a top tier psychic. Excuse me, do you do palmistry? Can you do it? Would you let me speak with my dead grandmother? Oh, my speak with my dead grandmother? She's still alive, alive but... Cut, cut! What was that? Excuse me, I'd need the toilet. Thank you. Anything you want to tell me? No. What do you mean, no? What are you hiding? Dimitri, it's my personal life. <sighs> Stop being your personal life a long time ago. We're investigating your death. What if it's important? What if that person is behind it? No. Dimitri, that's impossible. I guess. Yes? I've been rummaging through your life for, what, a, a month now? How about I tell you about my girlfriend? We're meeting up today, and you can- Dimitri, don't. Can I? It's really personal. I'm not ready yet. Fine. Take a break in here. I'll be nearby with a notebook. Come out when you're ready. You were talking to him in there, weren't you? You did it flush. I recorded everything. Jeez, man. You're a creep. Vincent, place. <laughs> and you, you think you can just ruin our expensive shoot just like that? Want to catch a huge fine? Fine? Listen here. I'll let this one slide if... You can give the psychic some hints. Me? What do you talk about at your parties? The guy's biography is kind of dull. No friends, no interests. Mediocrity. It's gonna be the most boring episode hey, of this season. do you mind? Ready in five. If you remember any info, I'll take care of the fine. Uh, yes, I'm on my way, damn it! Did you hear all that? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. What are we gonna do? I suppose... pretend that I'm interesting. Why the hell are we doing this? Firstly, because you can't afford the fine, you haven't been able to buy new socks for a month. Yeah, I guess. Secondly, we can use this. You have to give them hints. Do it, but not correctly. What? I'll give the right hints. Say the opposite. Uh... If they hear me, we'll find out who could help with our investigation. And if they don't hear? Then you'll have some fun. Action! Mm.
That's right. Well done. It's my bed. Slept here for four years. Come on. This bed, it's... Come on. It's... <laughs> no. No, no, no. That's someone else's energy. That's mine. Please don't touch it. No, that's not yours. That's someone else's energy. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. It's mine. That's Elijah's yeah. notebook. No, guys, guy. it's a different one. It's not your notebook. I copied you from it before. Part, and you had it all along. Quiet! He's, spe he's speaking to me! He says that the murderer is in this room? What? Hell, makes sense. Sounds legit. What? You mean me? He didn't just move into his room. He stole the notebook, too. Exactly. I was telling the truth. And why lie about Dimitri, the notebook? The clues! No he just went and took it like it was his. Absolute disgrace. Because I can, I can see it. him. The ghost. And he's attached to this notebook, so I won't give it to you. Dimitri, what are you doing? Uh, I told you. I told you! And you were right. I was talking to so, him every day we talked. Do we and he continue? Just won't shut up. We were or discussing how to what? help you charlatans to really investigate his death instead of airing out his dirty laundry. And he's not dull. He's a little pretentious, sure, but he's cool. An unexpected like, oh, confession you? on set yeah, sadly you know turned out to be nothing more than the student's attempt at becoming famous at the expense of someone else's tragedy. The film crew was forced to leave the premises of the dormitory, leaving Elijah's family with no answers. And then I was like, whoa, no, I'm the psychic now. And they were like, whoa, what? <laughs> What's the matter? We did it. They've left us alone and didn't bring up your union again. Yeah, same for my death. We're back to square one. Honestly, I don't understand how you cannot remember your death. Cause it's like, you know, death. I don't know. We don't remember our birth either. Maybe the same applies here. You have to remember something. I remember. Remember that I tripped over my laces. I tied them in a bow, I think. The window was open. I remember falling. I remember the ambulance. That's it. Wait a sec. So you were taken to the hospital. What if you're still alive? God damn it, the date. I totally forgot. She's waiting downstairs already. Elijah, Go. I... Don't make your loved ones wait. D thanks. But I haven't finished. Talk when I get back. Excuse me. Do you live here? Forgot your phone again? It's on the desk. You should remember these things. I'm not your... Mom? I'm so, so sorry. You won't believe what was happening here today. I couldn't even check the time. Were you waiting long? I just got here. Anyway, you know the show Psychic Battle? Mm, don't watch that stuff. Oh. Well, never mind then. I want to show you the new shawarma place. It's right around the corner. They've got friends. <laughs>